Hello everyone, it's Leo the Tyrannus here, and today I have a new video to make on the Wave 2 of my Mattel ideas for the Jurassic World line. So last time we checked on the Wave 1 line, and uh, this playset here, and a bunch of other stuff. But let's get into the second wave. For attack packs, um, my ideas for the Wave 2 line would be a Tanistrophius, a Lycanops, and a Goat. You know, just to feed the T-Rex and stuff. Um, and this Tanistrophius, I really like the design I made here. It'd have posable legs, um, like a, just a basic paint job, because most of the budget would go into this bendy tail and neck. Kind of like the original Kenner version. And then a Lycanops with an orange paint scheme and black stripes. And then jaw articulation and leg articulation. And then this goat with leg articulation. And a head that can go into a ramming pose. Then we have the Savage Strikes, which included Dinonychus, which would be feathered, a Pachycephalosaurus, which is basically a new kind of Pachycephalosaurus, where when you pull down the tail, instead of going in and out, it goes down and just hits what's below it. And a Lythronax. I think the design I made looks really cool. Next we have Roarbores, which include a Pentaceratops, which would have a head bashing action, and this Irritator, which would have a slashing action. Next is the Action Attacks, which would, I've only done one for the Wave 2 line, which is um, this Triceratops here. Which, in my opinion, um, it should have some real feel on it for the $20 price point, and then it just has a head ramming feature. Then is the humans, which includes a Legacy Collection um, Roland Tembo, with a baby T-Rex and a shotgun. Um, this dinosaur carer for Jurassic World, with a um, feeding stick and a baby Carnotaurus. And Mills. With an Indominus Rex rib and a baby bipedal Indoraptor. Next, we have the story packs. The first one is the Dinosaur Feeder, repacked with a Savage Strike baby Tyrannosaurus in the Red Rex paint job, and Dr. Wu from the Wave 1 line with a new baby Indominus Rex. And then is the Deluxe Story Pack, which would come with this human, which I just made him up and then gave him a name, Jonathan Ghost. This weird motorcycle it's supposed to be, but I did a really bad job there. The dinosaur would be a repainted Utah Raptor with a black paint job and then white stripes. And for mini dinos, the Ian Malcolm Legacy Collection comes to Nathus, Microceratus, and a Hatching Raptor from the John Hammond Single Pack, which I made in the Wave 1 line, and uh, repainted in the Utah Raptors paint job. For weapons, the uh, repacked Wheatley gun, a quiver, and a bow, and a small cage to keep the mini dinosaurs. And going back to the Wave 1 line here, uh, I forgot to mention it in my first video, but I have these things that they should change for this for the line. Um, the figures should cost a little bit more, but in turn have higher plastic quality, and some should have real feel. Um, and also, all the figures are in closed style boxes instead of the open boxes, and the human should be made of solid plastic instead of that weird rubbery plastic. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and hope you and. Um, yeah, hope you're ready to see the Wave 3 line and the Battle Damage and Legacy Collection, which I've made, too. So, goodbye.